Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about storing values and printing array in C. Okay, so if you want to store and if you want to display the array elements, okay, so you need to follow these steps. So here C provides three methodologies to allocate values to the values to the elements and they are storing values in C. It provides three methodologies. First one is initialization. We already discussed. Next one is assigning values and next inputting values. Okay. So let's see one by one. So first one is initializing an array. So initialization means giving values into the memory or storing values into the memory is nothing but initialization. Declaration means allocating memory okay so here when declaring an array you can uh, simultaneously initialize it just you normally initialize any variable so if you want to declare a variable like uh, int n okay so here n is a normal variable because we didn't use any subscript okay so this is known as subscript if you use n subscript this is array so if you didn't use any subscript that means it is a normal variable okay so now it is a normal variable so if you want to store any value in that variable you can easily n is equals to 10 okay so the n is used to store value 10 so this is normal initialization like this you can initialize a normal array so here int n of 5 whenever you declare an array the memory is allocated continuously okay so if you want to initialize the values if you want to store the values into the memory location then you need to use n of 0 is equals to 10 because array index value starts from 0 to n minus 1 that is size minus 1 5 minus 1 4 okay so here n of 0 is equals to 10 10 is stored in this place next n of 1 is equals to 20 so 20 is stored in this place like 30 40 50 so in this way you can initialize the array variables like normal variables okay in this case we need to provide the data of all the elements of array previously itself okay so in the program itself you need to initialize the variables okay let's see so here the syntax for initializing array variables is data type array name of size is equals to value 1 value 2 up to value n okay so here data type is int array name is roll number of 6 size is 6 so whenever you declare 6 memory allocations are allocated okay next is equals to you can give the values 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so array index value starts from 0 to n minus 1 that is 5 okay first element is stored at 0th position second element is stored at 11th pos uh, second position tuple is stored at uh, second position okay so second index 13 is stored at third index 14 and 15 like this okay here you are initializing an array of int which is roll number having six elements okay so that is the process you can enter all the elements in this way or if you want if you can enter the elements in some other way also so let's see here if you declare the size is n but gives the values may be n minus 2 or less okay so if you declare the array length that is 6 but if you enter only three values okay you entered only three values so remaining the three are used to store zero 
okay so here ending elements for which values was not specified are initialized to 0 they are defaultly stores 0 okay automatically stores 0 so here int roll number is the array name 6 is the size so 6 memory locations are allocated so this is 0 first second up to 5 okay but you are storing only three variables okay three values so array elements are stored continuously okay so from starting to ending so first 10 element is stored at first 11 12 so three elements are stored remaining three positions are used to initialize zero because you didn't specify any values you didn't initialize any value okay next assigning values of an array okay you can assign the values so this is the second way the second way is to use assignment operator in order to give elements in the respective values okay assignment operator that is nothing but equals to i have discussed in the operators topic equals to is a assignment operator which is used to assign the values to the variable okay any value that is compatible with the data type of the array okay so will be acceptable value so here if for suppose if you declare int a okay but you are storing a is equals to student stu okay the compiler will not accept this because you declare a variable as integer data type but you are storing string that means characters okay so this will be not acceptable okay you need to enter only respectable values okay based on the data type so example is roll number of 0 is equals to 1 so whatever the 0th index position is used to store one value okay so here you are using equals to operator that is assignment operator here we are assigning value 1 to the 0th index or first element of the array okay so see the example here int roll number roll number is the array name 2 is the size okay roll number of 0 so this is 0 and this is 1 okay roll number of 0 is equals to 1 we are storing 1 okay next roll number of 1 is equals to 2.5 2.5 is not an integer value it is a floating value real number okay so the integer value does not contain point okay so that's why the compiler will neglect this one and only stores two okay next float temp of two so here temp is a array name two is the size okay so that is zero and one so temp of zero is equals to 25.63 so here 25.63 is a real number because it contain fractional part so it stores like this 25.63 okay next temp 1 so first index value is used to store 28 but 28 is not a floating point number so that's why it is used to store 28.00 like this okay so that is the difference next one is int roll number of two so again two memory allocations are allocated first one roll number of zero is equals to one so one is stored because one is a int is a data type next roll number of one is equals to a but here since array is of type int so here you declare an int is a data type but you are entering a character so the value assigned is cat data type while storing the value roll number 1 is equals to 97 okay so 97 is the ascii code okay so a is 97 b is 98 
C is ninety nine. Like this, the ASCII codes are there for letters. So here it stores ninety seven, not A, because A is a character. But here you declared roll number as integer data type. So that's why here it stores equivalent ASCII value. Okay. The third one is inputting values in an array. Okay. So it is not always possible for us to know the values of data set used in the program. Suppose a student want to check average marks secured by him or her for a particular semester. In that case, you would require the student to enter the marks. Okay. So if you want to calculate the average of one particular student then it is possible only by entering the marks so you would require the student to enter the marks then the process on it and give the result okay without uh, marks we cannot uh, uh, calculate the average so that's why student need to enter the number we do not know the marks previously in such cases inputting values is required and is most common way of assigning values to elements of the array okay so if you want to inputting the values then you need to use any one loop iterative statements either while loop or do while loop and for loop so we use a loop in order to scan the values from the command line argument okay so if you want to uh, input the values if you want to read the values from the user then you need to use one loop okay so here int i so i is one variable and marks is array name and the size of marks is 5 so five memory locations are allocated in this way okay next so this is 0 1 2 3 4 okay next i am using for loop so i value is 0 i am initializing to 0 and next 0 less than 5 so 0 less than 5 is true okay so scanf scanf is a statement it is a input statement it is used to read the data from the user okay so it is used to read the data from the user that will be stored at marks of i i value is 0 okay so whatever the user enter value that will be stored at marks of 0 okay suppose that value is 10 next i value is incremented to 1 1 less than 5 is true again whatever the user entered value that will be stored at marks of i i value is 1 now i value 1 so marks of 1 so the second value stored at second position next value is stored at third position i value is incremented to 2 marks of 2 okay next i value is incremented to 4 marks of 3 next i value is incremented to 4 marks of 4 that is 50 next i value is incremented to 5 5 less than 5 is false that's why it goes to out of the loop okay in this way you can store the values into the array okay so for storing values into the array we use three methods the first one is initialize an array assigning values okay and next one is inputting values for initialization we directly Uh, enter the numbers list of numbers for assignment values we use equals to symbol for inputting we use scanf okay i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you